Since the Supreme Court overturned the constitutionally protected right to abortion, half of U.S. states have begun enforcing laws that ban or severely restrict access to abortion or have attempted to pass such laws. These bans have wide-ranging effects for people who can become pregnant, their families, their colleagues, and their communities, and thus the overall economy. Indeed, research shows how expanded access to abortion improves women's economic opportunities, while restrictions worsen economic outcomes. Here are five of the ways that abortion access is an economic issue. Job mobility. Women in states with laws that target abortion providers and often lead to abortion clinic closures are 7.6% less likely to move to higher paying occupations. Future financial well-being. People denied abortions are more likely to face eviction and bankruptcy and to be in poverty four years later. They are also less likely to be employed six months after being denied. Earnings and career outcomes. In states that enact restrictions on abortion providers, average wages for women of childbearing age fall by at least 5% per restriction passed. Education. Women are less likely to start or complete their education where abortion is restricted, especially Black women, who are up to 11% less likely to complete college if they live in a state with such laws. Racial economic inequality. Black women's outcomes are particularly affected by restrictions on abortion providers, with up to 6% lower future family incomes if exposed to these laws before age 23. Additionally, Latinas' family planning decisions are most affected by state-allocated Medicaid funding for abortion than any other demographic group. This research occurred before Roe was overturned, meaning these demonstrated negative economic shocks from abortion restrictions are likely to become worse as abortion bans become more extreme in the post-Roe era. These new abortion restrictions also risk exacerbating economic inequality along gender lines at exactly the moment when women are more critical than ever to U.S. economic security and growth. In this new reality, we need more research that measures the true cost of abortion bans, who is affected by them, so policymakers can act accordingly using evidence and data as their guide.